Hello, once again, this is Aaron Zapat. So during the past three weeks, um, I was assigned on making a video pro trip that was two minutes long, where I had to like interview an individual that can tell a story, which in this case, I chose my older sister, where she discussed like the challenges that she had um, having cancer back in 2017. During my interview project, um, one thing that, um, that was considered successful during my um, interview was being able to easily get like my sister to be my interviewee as it was also easy to like ask many questions to my sister because um, it made her like open up more towards experience and challenges that she had having cancer but I was also able to exercise um, my interviewing skills of asking the appropriate questions which I have learned from um, week 10's um, lecture on interviewing as allowed me to know um, what questions were considered open or closed and it also made me avoid asking questions that were like doubled or like quadruple the amount as it could like you know overwhelm the interviewee but besides this I feel like the most problem aspects I had when shooting the interview was sometimes the usage of tripods as sometimes it was hard to get the shot I wanted with the tripod as there were times that I felt um, like the camera was being angled poorly and sometimes positioning the, the legs was not um, fitting my forte but also like another problem aspect I had when editing um, my film was being able to match like the colors like or color grading that I intended on, on using as you know it was like I had time problems navigating like the color wheel and also find like the suitable colors that allows the audience to connect to the story so in future I need to work on that more. One key learning discovery I made in terms of the creative, the creative possibilities of producing interview um, portraits was in relation of how the interviewee is, is able to tell a story which can be accounted for what the interviewer asks which can be interpreted from like the three act structure like I asked the interviewee um, questions such as would you like to introduce yourself and um, what happened back in 2017 that made a huge impact in your life um, these questions like established act one of the story where it, is, where it is quoted by Michael um, Ravenger's um, week 9 reading that Act 1 gives out like the introduction or exposition by laying out the main characters and giving enough unnecessary factual information about time, place and period and so on to get started which was demonstrated very well for my sister when I asked her those um, specific questions but but during Act 2 and 3 her story built from, from a more positive side where she explained um, more of the positive things that allowed her to like overcome the challenges and fight against her cancer where she made like their challenges and issues a bit of a minor issue during the interview but because like um questions like like act two and three are usually like act two would be like a like big complication that usually shows the basic conflicts of being played out in variations where act three is like the climax that brings space for sorting things out and leading towards a happy life that the characters live after because come on, that's usually like in a lot of films that I've seen. <laughs> and finally, one core lesson I learned developing as a media practitioner while working on the interview portrait was that, I'm gonna say it again, <laughs> I still need to work on color grading a lot. <laughs> like, cause like, you know, it's been hard doing this. But basically color grading is the ability to enhance the color of a video to give a better effect and atmosphere for the audience. And this is important because color grading allows for communication that expresses emotions within the story. And to get a button, and to get a better understanding of how I, I execute the way I color grade my videos, it is always good to know the terms that are used for color grading, such as the qualities of color, like hue, saturation, and luminance. But anyways, thank you for watching my vlog, and I hope you um watch my interview portrait and see you guys. Hi everyone, I'm. Aaron's older sister, Lani. Do I just keep talking? Um, I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer when I was 25. I'm 29 now. Um, and basically what had happened was I lost my voice for two months. So it was a couple of weeks of tests and appointments, lots of scans and ultrasounds. But on the day of the appointment, when my doctor had told me, I was pretty surprised, but I was mostly quite grateful that I finally knew what was happening to me. And I was actually really glad that it wasn't anything worse. 
Um, so I was, I was, let's say the least, pretty rel relieved more than anything. Um, I was there with my parents who were obviously in tears and was pretty shocked to hear the news, but I was pretty relieved. But I did learn a lot during the last couple of years about myself and what I'm able to do. I guess it's impacted me the way I approach things. So, you know, I'm extremely grateful for everyone that was there for me, who believed in me, helped me but I'm also grateful to basically be where I am um, having having to improve myself every day and get better every day I mean I've had you know for something that was meant to be very simple came up with a lot of obstacles and fighting through that was quite difficult so you know, three surgeries, two um, radiotherapy iodines. It was pretty hard, but I managed in the end. 